Okay, I've got about 24 to 48 hours to get the entire downstairs front room painted, get all these cabinets assembled, and to get ready for the cabinet installer who is coming on Saturday. Everything is basically prepped. I've got to do a little bit of touch up, do a little bit of caulking, and then I'm ready to paint. Here we go. We really want to get the kitchen, the front room, the downstairs totally finished before the end of the year. Cedar has made do with the minimal kitchen that she's had for the last few months, but it's time to get the kitchen finished. After my brother finished the drywall, there's really not a whole lot left to do before I can paint. There's a few spots that I'll touch up. I'll use caulking in the corners, and then I'm gonna roll everything out by hand. Because we hadn't moved in yet, I was able to spray the entire upstairs. As a matter of fact, it took longer to mask the upstairs off than it did to paint it. Now that we're moved in, naturally I can't spray it. But I'm also curious to see the texture difference between spraying it and rolling it. I bought three different rollers with three different thicknesses of the mat to try and determine which one looks best. We couldn't be happier with how the drywall turned out. There's a perfect amount of skip in the drywall texture that hides the little imperfections here and there that are naturally gonna happen. We're up against it with the weather as well. It looks like the snow is likely gonna set in early this year. And the truth is there's a few things I need to do on the plow truck to make sure it's good to go before it gets serious with the snow. Now before I put the paint down, I'm using a Glidden PVA drywall primer and I'm putting it on heavy. The stuff's almost chalky, but it's doing its job. When I went to buy my paint at the big box store, the counter helped talk me into spending a little bit of money on paint and I'm glad he did. Okay, I worked until about 10 o'clock last night painting and the ceiling needs one more coat. Walls are great, everything else is great. Uh, the hope was that I could wake up this morning and start assembling cabinets uh, so that tomorrow the uh, cabinet installer could come and help me uh, get them properly installed. But the ceiling needs one more coat before we dive into that. So I'm gonna real quickly put one more coat on it. And then hopefully as a family, we can get all the cabinets assembled today and uh, get things moving. We're, we're getting pretty excited. We want to see how this is going to look, so. This is probably not the one place I want to be cheap. But painting is definitely one of the things that I hate doing. I don't know how many times and how many houses we've painted where I'm just never happy with how it turns out. The way I'm getting around this is I'm painting the walls and the ceilings the same satin white.
There's no cut in until we start putting trim down. Now both Cedar and I have decided that we want everything white. The cabinets are white, the doors will end up being white. Maybe at some point down the road we'll paint one of the walls gray or something like that. But I feel like those trends come and go, and the color white in the eggshell sheen seems to be timeless. Now this is a moment where I'm incredibly happy that I plumbed hot water to the outside because the cleanup went super fast. It's about 30 degrees outside right now. For over 20 years now, Cedar has helped me pack around my old antiques of all different kinds. I've got old saddles, I've got old spittoons, I've got old boots, I've got things that I've collected over the year that Cedar thought would be great for my shop, but I've tried to convince her that some of that should go in the house. So as we get the paint and the cabinets done, it will be interesting to see how we come together around the decor. The paint turned out perfect. Our, that is our kitchen cabinets, laundry room cabinets. Um, it's, there's, I think there's 17 boxes. Um, I typically would average about 30 to 45 minutes per box, but now that the kitchen is done, painted, the front room's painted, for some odd reason, Cedar wants me to get these cabinets installed. I can't imagine why. So our goal for today is to get into some sort of a, an assembly line or a system with uh, me and the kids and see if we can't get this uh, all finished today and ready for to be installed, hopefully first part of the week. Hi. What happened, bro? Oh, I face planted in the mud. You're not crying, no? Mm -mm. You have a nice snot running down the road. <laughs> <laughs> Disgusting. <laughs> Now the moment I've been dreading. Time to assemble the cabinets for the final time, hopefully, in my life, at least for this house. And what you're about to see is 14 hours condensed into less than five minutes. A 
puts another to the ground Disbelief staring at his fingers Through which his blood runs with his life And the drums of war are getting So long buried in the snow Yes, here we are Shining diamonds Burning bridges as we go And the grounds are warm Are getting louder A sound you never heard before Gonna come to your town We opted for the ready to assemble, known as RTA cabinets. It just so happens my son Rhett is taking a cabinet class, and I hope he can show this to his shop teacher and get a little bit of extra credit because he deserves it. He worked his tail off. So this is 91 times faster than normal speed. I spent the first few minutes helping him figure out the process. I showed him how not to over tighten the screws. I showed him how to follow the very basic instructions and let him loose. At some point along the way, Rhett had enough and I don't blame him. We went through about four pizzas and I went through about 400 milligrams of caffeine. We had the opportunity to use a local cabinet installer, but we're also up against it with the holidays and my fear is that his schedule is gonna get much busier in the coming days. I may end up installing them myself. It's not the end of the world. I've installed the cabinets before, but I want to make sure that this is done in a way where Cedar and I are both happy with it long term. Cedar has said to me a couple different times that we've never had a kitchen that had this many cabinets. I want to do this in a way where she's going to love it and be happy with it long term. This is what we woke up to this morning. Good six inches of snow. You having fun, buddy? You having fun?